my channel is growing at a very slow rate and uh can you hear that there's a my my neighbor's working on his like i don't know fence or shed or something he's been doing it all day it's actually crazy that's how loud it is i can hear it through everything and you can probably hear my birds i have no soundproofing in this room yeah it's this game again and fucking christ maybe today's not the day to film oh my god please it's actually been going all morning from 7 30 in the morning it's so bad help me my channel is growing at a very slow rate i've experimented with what works what gains traction and the suspicious kind of wording gets a lot of attention and this one video in particular got heaps just i i think you know why no comments or anything or likes really it's uh i think people are just like meat in hand looking on youtube and they Is he chainsawing a tree? Wait, I can see him. He's making a fucking brick wall, that's what it was. All morning he's been making a brick wall. God fucking damn it. What was I saying? <clears throat> right, anyway. Yeah, it got a lot of traction. I mean, I have had a couple wins in terms of content, so I'm going back to experimenting because traction has slowed down, so why not finish a story that we left off abruptly? I used my um, name originally, but I don't really want to be <laughs> confronted in this kind of narrative. So we're gonna use the Persona Thugalicious, I'm sure that's good enough. I gotta re-watch my own video and repeat every- fucking Christ. <clears throat> wait, wait, can I get the right note? Anyways, it's been I don't know how many days since that last recording, but it took the king's birthday for the guy to finally stop working on his fucking brick wall. Good on him. Um, but now I've got little birdies. They love to be so noisy. Where we left off. It was on, on a site. I don't know where it's gone now, so I had to download it. It's probably the only thing I'm gonna experiment with. I'm not really keen on sourcing out anything, really. I think I'm- Oh, there he goes. Mighty little chirpy guy. Oh my gosh. So much to say. He's happy little m Ooh. He's so tiny, he's a little budgie, he's like a little butterfly. Where we left off was we were talking to Nicole on her couch about her job and how she is kind of uh, being exploited. And the goal is we're not having any sexy time with any of the characters. Not allowed. We're on a path of uh, chastity because it's really beautiful, I think. I forgot we called ourselves that. But he wouldn't be the first guy to want that. So are you going to go along with it? I don't know yet, but you know we can't afford it that I lose my job. What should I say? You shouldn't go along along with it do what you think is right hell no fucking report his ass he can't make you do this exactly thuggalicious you could file a complaint absolutely i could but then i would surely lose my job that's rough that's rough and kind of real in this world even if you lose your job there are other ways to make a living thuggalicious if you're gonna speak like this you better be prepared to work a fucking job too bro like the massage thing for okay never mind he's right He's kind of right. You're so talented, Nicole. You could actually make a living. Or you could just try to find a different job. Well, it's not so easy to find work nowadays. But thanks, honey. I'll keep it in mind. I can't believe Nicole was considering to have no no time with her boss to keep her job. And the worst of it is, is that she's partly doing it for me. I wish I could do something for her in return. Work. Get a job, bro. Since she gave me a massage yesterday. No. Maybe I can return the favorite over a foot massage. <laughs> Should I offer to massage her feet? <laughs> I wanna say no. But we're not thinking about that kind of stuff. We're think we're we're chat we're we're chased. I think that's how you say it. We're we're pure individuals, pure heart, pure soul. I don't care if it's her bare, oily feet for five minutes, but it's it's so worth it because she's such a nice person. Would you like me to give you a foot massage, Nicole? You know, 
to help your feet relax from the pain. Yeah, real smooth and sly, thuggalicious. Sure, honey, if you want to, go for it. My feet could really use some relaxation right now. I'll try not to press too hard. I've never done this before. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> I don't think I could show that. I don't know anymore. I do not know what counts as inappropriate anymore. Wow, I know she puts a lot of effort in taking care of herself, but still, her feet feel much softer than I expected. It's all so smooth. And then it smells sweaty either. All I smell is Nicole, oh my god. How does it feel, Nicole? Am I doing it right? Uh-huh, you're doing great, honey. Looking at the way she's easing up, I think she's really enjoying this. How about I take this massage a step further? Maybe I could massage her calves. Wow. Yeah, I don't see what's wrong with that. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Get the, the whole thing happy. <laughs> she likes it. Dude, look at that. Lots of love for Nicole. No freaks. Lots of hate for Lilith. Fuck Lilith. Oh yes, please. That's very thoughtful of you, honey. These heels have been giving my calves a hard time too. This is beautiful, I think. Mmm. <laughs> Her leg feels nice and soft. She must have had them waxed recently. I know she goes to the salon twice a month or so. I wonder if they only wax her li- Hey, yeah! What the freaky deek? Okay, what the fuck was that? Perhaps this is a bit too much, but maybe I could massage her thighs. That's- no, that's- that's where we- we stop. That's where we stop. No. It's way too close to her private parts, and after all, I only offered a foot massage. True! Mm-hmm. She'd have to pay at that point. Let's just focus on her calves. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, Thuggalicious. I think I almost fell asleep there. Time for me to go to bed. I have to get up early tomorrow. <laughs> Don't do that. I had a nice day with you today. Thank you for the wonderful massage, honey. We are so... We're the best little... What is like an offspring of a landlord? <laughs> uh, we're the best land peasant, land servant, land son. Oh, I won't. Good night, Nicole. I wish I could follow her to her bedroom and sleep next to her. Are you 12? No, not even 12. Are you five? Grow up, little dude. Hmm, something has definitely changed between. <laughs> Hell no. It's like I finally realized how pretty she is. It always has been. Maybe Brandon's rant about a trigger. That's scary. That's really scary. Or could it have had something to do with the fact that I summoned a demon in my house? Probably not that. Lilith, ugh. Stupid, but I'm actually feeling kind of sad she left. Things were more exciting for the short time she was here. Now it's back to homework and playing games. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, what time is it? I must have dozed off while watching TV. Jeez, and it's cold in here like someone opened a window or- <gasps> Oh my god, can it be? No way, I gotta learn more shit because this bitch is still not in clothes. Lilith, you get back. I did. Everyone has such fucking luscious lips. Like even the dudes, everyone's just got luscious ass lips. Why right, you call me Lily from now on? Damn. Sure, Lily. Why did you come back? Another massive close-up of Lily. You'll see. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Facing demons. Chapter 2. Oh my gosh, I'm at the edge of my seat. Baba Weewa. Thuggalicious? Thuggalicious, wake up! Oh my god. Um, girl, where's your dressing gown? Good morning, what time is it? What's going on? You look upset. Is there something wrong, Nicole? Well, you tell me, Thuggalicious. Just take a look at yourself for one second. Oh my fucking god, duh. What the fuck? <laughs> His whole schmied is out. Lopsided. Huh? I've been sleeping on the couch last night. It, that it? Oh my god, no, shit, my pants are down. Holy shit, he's a shower and not a grower. How? I don't remember falling asleep like that. Uh-oh, you were roofied, little man. This must have been Lily's doing. Kill her, kill her, Salem witch trial in your bedroom. I remember she was here last night, right before I fell asleep. Jesus Christ, Nicole, please <laughs> put on something, bro. It's just getting freaky without my doing. Do you have something to say for yourself, young man? Oh shit, it's not a good sign when Nicole starts to call me young man. Better come up with a good excuse and quickly. 
Why do I find you lying on the couch, half naked, the moment I enter the living room? I, um, well... Fuck, it's obvious. She must think I was jerking off before I fell asleep. Ew. Oh, this is quite rough. This is quite, this is probably the hardest thing I've ever had to decide. What do I do? I don't even have a little thing and I don't know. The tips and tricks here. Um, uh, <laughs> shit. If I had a slapstick and I was caught with it hanging down, <laughs> Grandfather Clock. Uh, uh, yeah, there's no way I could talk myself out of this. You're right, Nicole. I may have fallen asleep while I was touching or so much. No. <laughs> oh, what? Well, okay, so she didn't expect me to be so upfront about it. To actually put something on, like, you c okay. My god, the delicious. Now get out of my sight and get yourself ready for school. Ugh, this was definitely not the proudest moment in front of my landlady. This is so rough. She caught me sleeping in the living room, so with my freak stick out. Cause she thinks I fell asleep while freaking it. What was Lily thinking leaving me lying there last night? She, we didn't even get to see what happened, like, thank God. But I think you were just, she, you were a victim, Thugalicious, you're a victim. I don't want to keep cleaning up after a mess every time she decides to stop by. Okay, okie dokie. But on the upside, I got to see Nicole in her sleepwear this morning. That's lovely, little Thugalicious, thank you. It was not the oversized t-shirt she usually wears. No, that nightie, that nightie she, wear, she was wearing this morning was seriously cray cray. It was almost transparent. And those panties seemed way too small. I'm feeling for a bibs, okay, why are we looking there? Okay, I don't really care. I, I want to get out of the shower now. Should I? Jesus Christ! Hell no! You just got- Oh my god. Thundalicious, you need some help. And that's what I'm here to do. That's right, I'm fixing this world by playing little voice in Thundalicious's head. I need to hurry up. I don't want to risk being late for school. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? No. What is that? Look. No, cause like the- Ew. How great. Nicole made me two pieces of burnt toast for- Oof. Oh, that's rough. Oof. I get it though. She's still upset with me about what happened this morning. This is rough. This is so rough. And I do know her to have a bit of a temperament sometimes. Damn. I don't blame Nicole, but damn. How am I gonna fix this? She'll forget, I'm sure. Of course I can't tell her what really happened. I could apologize. Absolutely. Nicole? Yes, what is it? Um, I'm sorry for what happened this morning. I should have been more careful. I promise you that it won't happen again. I'm your landlady, and what I saw this morning was completely inappropriate. You should know that you can't just do whatever you want in this household. Marty, you tell him. You tell him, Marty. Chirpy little happy guy. I don't know what's been going on with you lately, but I'm not used to this kind of behavior. How old are we? Because this could just be puberty. Maybe. Probably legal age, quote unquote. Like 18. You're right, Nicole. And again, I'm really sorry. But I swear I didn't do it on purpose or anything. No, of course not. It's just... Can't we just get past this then? Okay, maybe you're right. Ah. If you promise this won't ever happen again, then apology accepted. I don't feel like staying angry at you all day anyway. Wow, I didn't expect her to come around so quickly. Maybe what happened didn't bother her as much as I assumed. Oh, before I forget, there's something on the planner for you today. Lydia is coming over tonight. What? Lydia? No, why? Yes, this is definitely happening. I, um, I'm going on a date again and I won't be home for the evening. So I spoke to Lydia on the phone yesterday and she offered to come over and make you some dinner. <laughs> Do I have to spend the whole evening with her alone? I'm afraid so, I've already said yes to her. Come on sweetheart, don't be silly, this is a good opportunity to talk with her and get to know her a little better. In any case, you'll be eating something other than pizza for once. So Nicole is going on a date with her boss this evening again, I hope she makes the right decision. Who knows what's going on in her head. I should say something just to reassure her. So, um, about your date. 
have you figured out what you're gonna do? I mean, if you're along with your boss's deal or not. I've thought about it, but honestly, I don't know yet. There's just so much at stake for us, you know? So, what's the plan for your date tonight? Honey, I don't wanna go through this again. We talked about this already. I'm your landlady, and discussing this with you is embarrassing. I understand, Nicole, but I just want to help. I promise I won't tell anyone. Oh, uh, okay. He wants to meet him at his apartment. He keeps talking about some kind of expensive thing he has planned for us tonight. Oh my god. God, I feel like I'm freaking out already. How did I get myself into this mess? What should I say to Nicole? Be careful around her. I understand Nicole and I think you should be careful. It's It just sounds like he's trying to trick you into going along with him. Trick me? What do you mean, sweetie? Well, I think he just makes the date seem all expensive so he can guilt trip you into whatever he wants later. Wow, that's kind of dark. Never expected to hear something like that coming from you. <laughs> but you're right, I'll keep it in mind. Oh wow, look at the time. Oh wow, look at the time. Oh wow, look at the time. It's half past already. Aren't you late for school, honey? Uh, of course, school, yeah, I was just about to leave. <laughs> Shit! Nicole was right. I really need to hurry up if I want to get to school on time. Holy shit! Oh my god, hey, what's going on over there? Policemen, white suits, it looks like... <gasps> Are you there? Ooh, look at that pose. Nasty! Yeah, that's right, I'm talking to you, boy. You're not allowed to be in here, this is a crime scene. Um, I was just passing through, officer. Is that so, huh? In any case, that's irrelevant. You've just committed a federal felony, young man. You'll have to come with me to the precinct. Precinct? Pre precinct. I don't know that word. But, but how can I, I live here? Yeah, I'm aware of that, Thuggalicious. <gasps> what? How do you know my name? Wait a second. I recognize that voice. The fuck? Is that you, Harold? Oh my god, Harold. <laughs> This is so surreal. Why? Ha ha. God, can I can I get freaky with Harold? Ha uh ha, -huh, you got there. I got you there. I'm surprised you didn't figure it out sooner. Arr! No way you fooled me. I was just playing along with you. Sure, sure. Don't sweat it, Thuggalicious. I promise I won't tell anyone you were scared. Anyway, it's good to see you. You too, Harold. But why are you here? I thought I'd hop by later to say hi to Nicole. It's not every day that I have to do my job in your building. She is home at the moment, is she? Yeah. She hasn't gone to work yet, so what's all the police about? Did something happen here, Harold? Hmm, you're a curious fellow, aren't you? Officially, I'm not allowed to share that information with you. But since I know you so well, one of your neighbors has been found dead a few doors down the hall. We suspect he was murdered last night. What? A murder? In our building? I'm afraid so, son! And it's a bit of a strange case. The guys from forensics have no clue how he died. I mean, the poor fellow looks like he died from starvation, but we spoke to his colleagues and then it said he looked completely fine just a few hours before. Jeez, that sounds terrible. I hope you find the person who did this. Oh, he's so strong. Don't work it. I will personally bring that bastard in. Ha uh ha, -huh, I'm sure you will, Harold. I gotta run now or I'll be late for class. Take care, Thuggalicious, and promise me to work hard. I don't want your Nicole hearing about any bad grades. I will see her around, Harold. Nicole's friend, Harold, sure is a joker. That's why I've never understood how he and Lydia are together. Compared to him, she's not exactly warm-hearted. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> what am I- who are they? Brr, that guy looked scary as hell. That guy was a walking dead vampire, bro. What is that? But that woman. She looks familiar somehow. She reminded me of Kill Bill. I really need to hurry now. The whole way already looks empty. Except for these girls over there. They don't seem to be in much of a hurry. I recognize the blonde girl. Of course I do. Everyone in school does. That's Tiffany! She's head cheerleader and the most popular girl in my year. I hear the guys in my class talk about her all the time. Well, actually, it's more like fantasizing. I just noticed I can get freaky with Harold. <laughs> That's cool as hell! I mean, no, it's not, but like, I was just expecting like a bunch of big titty bitches on this roster. It's interesting. Count me in on that though, I mean, look at her. She has a tanned. <sighs> A belly piercing, face of an angel, and the best teenage, we're not saying that, uh-huh, okay. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No! Oh no! Shit!